All right, so get this. Today we're diving in to the surprisingly fascinating world of rug cleaning. Rug cleaning. You heard right. You guys sent in this YouTube video. Okay. And it's a Karastan wool rug cleaning demo by, get this, Black Diamond Cleaning Services. All right. And let me tell you, I am hooked. Really? I'm telling you, who knew rug cleaning could be so riveting? So what's so fascinating about, you know, watching someone clean a rug? Well, first of all, this isn't just someone, it's like watching a masterclass unfold. Wait, okay, yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah, most people wouldn't give a rug cleaning video a second look, but there's something about watching someone who knows their stuff. It's mesmerizing. Exactly. And this guy, he's like the embodiment of quiet confidence. Like he's seen it all when it comes to, well dirty rugs. He's probably seen some things. Oh, I bet. He mentions Black Diamond is a newer company, so it's even more interesting to see him tackle this Karastan wool rug. Ah, Karastan rugs. Now, those are pretty much the gold standard when it comes to machine-made rugs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Their durability, the consistent quality you get with them, it's no wonder they're so popular. Plus, the way they're constructed, they're actually less prone to die bleeding during cleaning compared to handmade rugs. So they're built tough and easier to clean. Got it. Exactly. Okay, so let's talk about the flush the toilet first principle. A what? I'm not kidding. This guy actually uses that phrase when he's dealing with pet stains in the video. Okay, well, as funny as that sounds, it's actually pretty good advice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've all been there with the pet accidents, right? But what most people don't realize is that urine, it's not just about the stain. It can actually damage the rug fibers permanently if you don't deal with it properly. Oh, wow. Yeah. So by flushing those stains right away, like he does in the video, with a, you know, a specialized shampoo, you're actually stopping that odor from setting in and potentially saving the rug from, well, irreversible damage. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. But here's where I had a serious, wait, what? Yes. Moment. He flips the rug over and cleans it on both sides. Both sides. Yeah. I'll be honest, I've never even considered cleaning the bottom of a rug. Why is that so important? That's the thing about rugs. You see spills and stains. They don't just sit on the surface. They seep down right into those wool fibers. Oh, I see. Yeah. So cleaning only the top is like you're only treating half the problem. Ah, oh, that makes sense. You've got to get to the root of it to completely remove that stain and prevent it from, you know, coming back to haunt you like a bad dream. Right. you got to address both sides. So double-sided cleaning, huh? <laughs> Who knew? It's like he's giving these rugs the royal treatment. But speaking of being thorough, did you catch that part where he finds that loose fringe on the rug? Oh, yeah, I saw that. It seemed like such a small detail, but he uses it as this teaching moment about how important pre-inspection is. Absolutely, and that's the mark of a true professional right there. Yeah. Taking the time to really inspect the rug before you even get started, that's huge. Helps manage expectations, mm -hmm. you know, avoids any misunderstandings later on down the line. It's right. all about being upfront with the client, making sure everybody's on the same page from the get-go. And it's not even just about spotting damage that's already there. Right. It's about making sure you're using the right tools for the job. And let me tell you, this guy came prepared. Oh, yeah. What do you have? Vacuum, duster, buffer, squeegee. He even had this thing. You ready for this? Yeah. A poor man's centrifuge. What? A poor man's centrifuge. <laughs> I'm telling you, it sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie. Oh, well, maybe not quite intergalactic travel, but I get what you mean. It's actually a perfect example of how, you know, experience can lead to some pretty ingenious solutions. Right. The poor man's centrifuge, as he calls it, is basically using suction to pull out that deep down dirt and water. It's like a DIY version of that really expensive equipment you'd find in a professional cleaning facility. It's like a rug cleaning life hack. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. You don't always need all the fancy gadgets to get amazing results. Exactly. It's about understanding the why behind the what you know, the principles at play, and then getting creative with how you apply them. So true. And speaking of creative, this guy's not messing around with just any old cleaning solutions. Mm. I noticed he used a triple deodorizing shampoo. Is triple even necessary? Ugh. What about that low surface tension cleaner he mentioned? Yeah, he's definitely chosen his arsenal carefully, and there's a good reason for that. When it comes to pet stains especially, neutralizing those odors is key. Oh, for sure. That triple deodorizing shampoo, it probably has enzymes in it that actually break down the odor-causing molecules at like a deeper level instead of just covering up the smell, you know? So it's not just making it smell like perfume. It's actually getting rid of the source of the odor. That's pretty impressive. Exactly. And as for the low surface tension cleaner, that's all about protecting those delicate wool fibers. Think about it like this. 
You wouldn't wash your hair with dish soap, would you? No way. It's too harsh. It would strip away all the natural oils and your hair would be a mess. Wool fibers, they're kind of similar. They need a gentle cleaner that's not going to damage them. And low surface tension cleaners are designed to do just that. Lift the dirt and grime, but without being too aggressive. It really is like choosing the right shampoo for your rug. Mm. Got to treat those fibers right. Yeah. But even with the right products, he kept talking about dwell time. Is letting the cleaner just sit on the rug really that important? Oh, yeah. Trust me on that one. Patience is key. See, I'm impatient. I just want to get the whole thing clean. I hear you, but think of it like, you know, when you use stain remover on a shirt before you throw it in the wash? You got to let it sit for a bit. Oh, okay. That dwell time lets those cleaning agents really soak in. You know, they get down into the fibers, really break down all that dirt and any stains, the odors, everything. It just needs that time to really work its magic. Okay, so it's not a race. Mm. Got to give those cleaners time to do their thing. Mm -hmm. Speaking of magic, can we talk about the gray water reveal for a sec? Oh, yeah, yeah. Seeing that filthy water come out of a rug that he already vacuumed, I might add. I know, right? It's disgusting, mm -hmm. but also fascinating at the same time. It really is amazing, isn't it? You look at it, you think, okay, that's a clean rug, and then bam, all that murky water comes out, and you realize there's a whole hidden world living in those fibers. Like it's a portal to another dimension of just dirt. Yeah. But it really drives home the point that professional cleaning, it's not just about making things look good on the surface. No, you're absolutely right. It's about our health, too. Yeah. Getting rid of all those, you know, dust mites, the pollen, pet dander, all that stuff that's hiding in our rugs, that's huge for our health, especially yeah. for anyone with allergies, asthma, you know, any kind of breeding problem. It makes a huge difference. So as we wrap up this deep dive into the surprisingly complex world of rug cleaning, mm -hmm. what's the big takeaway? What do you hope our listeners are really thinking about? I think it's about taking a moment to appreciate the expertise that goes into the things we see every day. It's easy to take it for granted, the knowledge and the skill required to care for our stuff, even something as, well, seemingly basic as a rug. That's so true. I know I'm looking at my rugs in a whole new light now. <laughs> I bet our listeners are too. <laughs> Who knew there was so much to learn about cleaning rugs? Right. It really makes you wonder what other hidden cleaning needs the everyday objects in our homes have. You know, now that you mention it, mattresses... Those are a whole other can of worms. We should do a deep dive on those next. Now, there's an idea. Well, that's what the deep dive is all about, right? Taking something ordinary and finding the extraordinary hidden inside. So until next time, keep exploring, keep those questions coming, and most importantly, keep those rugs clean.